I'm asking the Sustainability Advisory Council to help us do nothing less than establish Cook County as a world-class model of sustainability, efficiency, and conservation. We will focus on several areas, including energy efficiency and sustainability program financing, partnership building, and information sharing to improve sustainability initiatives throughout the county, and developing the Cook County government's role as a service provider and leader of sustainable practices. When President Preckwinkle took office in 2012, she gave us a mandate to introduce a performance management culture, cut costs, identify inefficiencies, and adopt best practices and implement bold, innovative solutions. President Preckwinkle has asked us to establish Cook County as a world-class model of sustainability, efficiency, and conservation. To that effect, the Bureau of Economic Development, Offices of Capital Planning, Department of Environmental Control, and the Bureau of Finance collaborated, developed an innovative approach to address very significant energy management and capital planning problems at the two largest complexes at the most critical facility assets, the John Stroger Hospital Campus and the Department of Corrections Complex. The John Stroger Hospital Campus is part of the Cook County Health and Hospital Systems, the nation's second largest public health system. The Department of Corrections and Juvenile Temporary Detention Center includes the nation's largest single-site jail complex. Both the hospital campus and the correction complex include large buildings that operate continuously for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When combined, the hospital systems and correction complex are the top energy consuming assets owned and operated by the county. Raising funds through a tax levy or a reallocation of existing resources was not an option. Here's what we did. We utilized the innovation, innovative tool, Guaranteed Energy Performance Contracting, also known as GEPC, at an unprecedented scale to fund over 60 million in facility upgrades with no tax increases or use of limited capital funds. Here's how it works. The county entered into agreements with energy saving companies, also known as ESCOs. They then identified and evaluated energy saving opportunities for our major facilities and proposed a package of improvements that could be paid for through future energy savings. The ESCOs guaranteed that the savings resulting from these improvements would meet or exceed the annual payments required to cover the project costs over the term of the contract. If the savings don't materialize, the ESCOs will pay the difference to the county. The program will generate over 600 local construction and technology jobs. The county will realize 20% savings in energy use and 20% reduction in emissions. The 60 million in energy cost savings to the county's operating budget will pay for improvements over a 20 year period, including the cost of financing. Savings are guaranteed by the energy services companies or ESCOs contracted in the work. If a shortfall occurs, the ESCOs will reimburse the county. The county will invest $60 million in savings towards hospital and correctional upgrades. Patients, families, medical staff, correction employees, detainees, attorneys, and daily visitors will benefit from cleaner air, improved ventilation, and lighting. Through guaranteed energy performance contracting, Cook County will lead by example in improving more livable and sustainable communities. At the same time, we are saving taxpayer dollars. Hi, I'm Deborah Stone. I'm Chief Sustainability Officer for Cook County and Director of the Department of Environmental Control. So what do we mean when we talk about sustainability anyway? It means what we do today to meet not only our own needs, but the needs of generations to come. It means wise use of resources, it means stewardship, it means efficiency, and it means fairness and equity. What's Cook County's role in sustainability? Well, if you think about it, Cook County is one of the biggest organizations in the Chicago metropolitan area. We have 5 million people, we have 22,000 employees, we have 130 municipalities, and we have about half of the state's economic activity here. We influence sustainability not just through our own operations, what we do every day, but through all those employees, through how we come into contact with citizens in our programs throughout the year, and also through the leadership role that county government 
and county leaders can play in the region. I want to emphasize that sustainability supports President Preckwinkle's four goals for her administration. So those include fiscal responsibility, transparency and accountability, and sustainability is all about measuring the results and being honest with them so that you can improve continually, innovative leadership, and improving services. There are all kinds of ways that local governments can take action to reduce greenhouse gases. We can change how we operate um, our own facilities and our own operations. We can establish countywide goals that others can sign on to. And we can help reach out to individuals, businesses, and local communities to help familiarize them with best practices and help them adopt them. So where do we start? Community-wide in Cook County, building energy use accounts for about two-thirds of the greenhouse gases that are emitted in the county. Uh, that's the place to start. We've put the most effort into reducing our building energy use because it's the most significant contributor. Now we know that the Corrections Campus and the Hospital Campus of Cook County together use about 60% of all of the energy that Cook County government purchases for its buildings. So we know that if we can move the needle on those campuses, we can make a significant reduction in our energy use. That's why these guaranteed energy performance contracts target those campuses. These guaranteed energy performance contracts are the largest such projects ever undertaken by a county. They put Cook County on the map and they show that we're serious about putting our money where our mouth is. We want our county to be the greenest county in the United States. We want to attract more businesses to locate here. We want to cut costs for the county itself and for the companies who choose to locate here. We want to change the culture and rebrand our community.